ASM911 heavy-duty automatic pattern sewing machine is one of the cheapest programmable electronic pattern sewing machines on the market. This film made by David. Step 1. Turn on the machine. Check the hole on needle plate. Make sure that no stuff blocking the needle hole. Connect to the air compressor. This is the oil water separator. Turn on the air pressure switch by pushing in right direction. The value of oil water separator is 0.5 to 0.6 MPa. Connect to power supply. 220 to 240 volts tilde 560HC, one phase. Press ON to turn on the machine. Step 2. Introduction of basic buttons. Press on this key for 5 seconds to enter the language selection interface, where you can select the language. This is the key of origin point. If the pressing frame is at upper position, or the quick change clamp is not locked. Clamp cannot back to origin point, and the system will prompt an error. Press this switch to lock the quick change clamp, then step on the right pedal to down press frames. System prompt will disappear. Click the origin point key again. The needle and clamp will back to origin point. This is start point key. Click this key. The machine will back to the sewing start point of a programmed pattern. It is moving key. Click to move the needle to any point of a programmed pattern. It is needle positioning key. Click this key to stop needle in up and down position. This is the pattern viewing key. You can check the size and stitches quantity of the pattern. Here you can enlarge, reduce and drag the pattern. Click the next page. Press the direction keys to move the position of clamp, sewing frame. Click up counter, you can set the counting value. Close means the function is turned off. Click it to turn on the counting function. Input a production quantity, for example 2. After two sewing tasks, the system will prompt it. This is emergency stop switch. If you need to stop the machine immediately, 
For example, the bobbin thread runs out. Please press the emergency stop switch. Machine will stop immediately. When the emergency stop switch is activated, all other commands are invalid except the power switch. So you need to release the emergency stop switch by turning it to the right. Step 3. Pattern Import and Selection Insert the USB disk to Pattern Tacker. Click Menu. menu. Click Read. U disk. Select the sewing pattern. Click Import. OK. The display interface says that pattern has been imported from U disk successfully. Click this locked icon to switch pattern selection mode. Now in non-locked mode. In this mode, you can manually click the pattern number or use left and right arrows to select pattern. Click the icon again, a lock pattern will appear in the upper left corner of the pattern, it is locked mode. Now the pattern numbers and arrows become grey, any clicking on them is invalid. Barcode Reader Setting With barcode reader, each clamp has corresponding sewing pattern. Click Menu Red Align the sensor on the clamp with the sensing area. Select the pattern to be bound. Click RFID. OK. The clamp and pattern binding are finished. Now move the clamp to sensing area. The machine will automatically display corresponding pattern. Here you can adjust the sewing speed of the pattern, according to the thickness of material. Step 4. Trial sewing and adjust the start point. Whenever select a new pattern, you need to perform the trial sewing. Put the bottom plate. Lock the quick change clamping system, then down the pressing frame. Click this key back to the sewing start point. Make sure that the needle plate hole is within the sewing range of the bottom frame. Otherwise need to change the sewing start point. Please click this key, enter to the start point modify interface. The green mark in pattern is the current position of the sewing start point. You can adjust the sewing start point by pressing these arrow keys. Pressing the left arrow, Sewing start point moves to the left. Pressing the right arrow, sewing start point moves to the right. If you increase the value to minus 50, click OK key. Click the escape. Click cover key. Click the OK. Click OK key again. The start point of new sewing pattern moved to left 50 mm. After the adjustment, please perform trial sewing. Back to sewing start point. Press the up or down arrow to move needle forward or backward. Press and hold the up arrow. Needle will continue moving forward till finish the trial sewing. Please watch carefully during trial sewing, make sure the needle hole always within the cutout of bottom plate. After trial sewing, press the origin point key. Step 5. Adjust the height of intermittent presser foot. Lift pressing frame. Take out the material, put onto bottom plate. Make the edge of material close to the needle. Down the pressing frame.
Press this key to down the needle. Loosen the presser foot screw, adjust the presser foot height. Usually the presser foot should be 2 to 3 millimeters lower than the material surface. Tighten the screw. Press again, move needle to up position. Click this key to up and down the presser foot. Step 6. Sewing. Lift the pressing frame. Move materials to the correct location. Down pressing frame to fix the material. Adjust the the needle cooler, make su nozzle aim at needle. Press the left foot pedal to start sewing. After first sewing, check the top and bottom sides stitch quality. Make sure no skipped stitch, bobbin thread knots, tangles and other stitching defects. Step 7. Replace with pre-install clamp. Remove these four screws. Prepare the pre-install clamp. Install material onto clamp. Put the pre-install clamp. Press the right pedal to lock the quick change clamp. Press the origin point key. Turn the flywheel to down needle. Make sure that the needle aim at the origin hole. Perform trial sewing as previous step 4. Adjust the height of intermittent presser foot as previous step 5. After finish the adjustment, you can start the sewing production. Check the top and bottom sides stitch quality. If you have any additional question, or contact our engineer at info at automatic-sewing.com.
Thank you for your time.